Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update where today we're going to be taking a look at a potential rumour that's been coming about over the forums and I wanted to discuss my thoughts on it and whether it could be true. Now before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question for our Q&A to celebrate 2,000 subscribers when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So this is this rumour is all centred around the Whistle Stop Park area of Six Flags America in Baltimore, Maryland. 15 minutes from Washington DC for those of you who need extra information uh, <laughs> um, Now if you need a little bit of history on this area uh, Whistle Stop Park came in as a theme in 2011, but it originally opened in 2010 And that is because for one season it became known as Thomas Town based on the Thomas the Tank Engine theme It was only there for one season and then 2011 and onwards to this day it was known as Whistle Stop Park. Now it has a few children's rides in there, nothing massive, uh, just a few kids rides here and there. However, however, I think we're gonna see some major development on that site, possibly, possibly for 2021. Now, obviously with the current crisis and everything, you're probably saying to me already, how's that gonna work? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I think. So the rumor came about on a forum, on the, on the Coast Force forum. Now, um, one of my subscribers actually commented down below on a video saying that they saw electrical work taking place between Whistle Stop Park and Joker's Jinx. Now, obviously, obviously a YouTube comment isn't the best source. However, I decided to go on the forum and I said, you know, I, I spoke to someone, I was like, you know what? Someone's commented this. I didn't know whether to share it on the forum or something like that. He said, yeah, 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 that's fine. So I shared it, and then lo and then some, and then someone else actually said that he thinks he saw online somewhere that Whistle Stop Park was up for some kind of overhaul or upgrade. Now, obviously, nothing in Google says anything about this work. However, there's a potential that this upgrade of this area could happen. Now, obviously, like I said, it's not the best source in the world, but I wanted to use that and turn this into a bit of a discussion video and talk about the potential options for the Whistle Stop Park section. Now, I do have the site which I, uh, from Google Earth, which I have uploaded uh, and I'm going to put on your screen uh, when we go through about this. And I've sort of highlighted in yellow a bit of extra land behind Whistle Stop Park and Joker's Jinx. So it's where the electrical work is taking place. So on your screen now, Fandabidozi, that my friends is the site for Whistle Stop Park. Now, obviously, the attractions, if you need a bit of a reminder uh, about which attractions are in this area, um, we have plenty of children's rides, plenty of, plenty of children's rides. Um, now, obviously, you've got brilliant children's attractions like Happy Junction, which is a Zamperla convoy ride. Uh, You've got other Whistle Stop Park areas that have got other attractions which aren't um, in the same area as Six Flags America. Uh, you've got Splash Zone, which is your water play area. You've got a hopper ride uh, called Sky Jumper. And then you've got the Whistle Stop Bus Line, which is a bus ride. You've got Whistle Stop Playground, which is the playground in the park. You've got the Whistle Stop Whirly Birds, which is a rotating helicopter ride. And you've got the Whistle Stop Train. So you've got the Whistle Stop Train, the Whistle Stop Whirly Birds, the Whistle Stop Park Playground, the Whistle Stop Bus Line, the Splash Zone, Sky Jumper, and Happy Junction. Now, with this then, I want to look at some potential options for the future of that site, if that site is up for an upgrade. Now, obviously, one of the main things to come out of this, one of the main predictions, if you were thinking about predictions, is a brand new kids area like a retheme of the attractions and maybe a new attraction for that area to sort of be the highlight of this new area upgrade now if they were to go along that route i would go with dc super friends now obviously knowing six flags with the kids areas that may may not be enough now obviously they do have another kids section at the park uh and for those of you who don't know what that is uh it is called Looney Tunes Movie Town. So they've got Elmer's Around the World in 80 Seconds, which is a Zampella Kiddie Balloon Ride. They've got Foghorn Leghorn's Tinsel Town Train, uh, which is a Kiddie Train Ride. You've got... Th th now, those both opened in 1993. 
Now in 1999 they opened Looney Tunes Prop Warehouse which is a kiddie soft play area. You've got Pepe Le Pew's Tea Party which is a kid's teacups. Uh, you've got Sylvester's Pounce and Bounce which is a kiddie drop ride. Taz's Film Works which is a kiddie swing ride. Yosemite Sam's Hollywood Flight School which is a kiddie aeroplane ride. Uh, and you've also got um, many more attractions like that around the other Six Flags parks. But in terms of that specific area, that is what you've got. Now, obviously, you're probably thinking, why am I speaking about Looney Tunes Movie Town? Well, I think knowing Six Flags and their kids' areas, I think they could go and do a kids' rides package. Now, what that would mean is, maybe not new kids' rides, but I think they could turn Looney Tunes Movie Town and this Whistle Stop Park into Bo Bugs Bunny Boomtown and DC Super Friends. And that is the kids area route. That is what if you would uh, refurbish two kids areas in the park, Looney Tunes Movie Town and Whistle Stop Park, of course, the two kids areas for Six Flags America. So imagine if you had Whistle Stop Park become DC Super Friends and you had Looney Tunes Movie Town on the other end of the park, or another area of the park, like Looney Tunes Movie Town, become Bugs Bunny Boomtown. You refurbish, you paint up a couple of attractions, maybe you put a brand new attraction into the Bugs Bunny Boomtown area, so maybe you get a new kids ride for that area, maybe a new kids ride for the Whistle Stop Park area, like the DC Super Friends, so maybe the Happy uh, Happy Junction, the uh, Zampella Convoy truck ride, maybe you transform that into like a little junior coaster or something. Um, just to sort of make that area look new. So I think that's one route you could go down, refurbishing the kids' area. So while you're doing DC Super Friends at Whistle Stop Park and making that like a little uh, sub area to the main Gotham City, which is where Joker's Jinx is and the other attractions, the other thrill attractions, you could also do, at the same time, work on Looney Tunes Movie Town and do work to transform that into Bugs Bunny Boomtown. Now, the other route they could go, and this is probably the route that everyone's going to want to happen, those of you who are thrill seekers anyway, it is a brand new coaster. Now, you've got to look very, very closely at this site. Now, obviously, Looney Tunes Movie Town, I'm sure, will be transformed into Bugs Bunny Boom Town anyway within the next few years. I'm pretty sure that will happen at some point. If and when that does happen, even if it doesn't happen for a long time, Looney Tunes Movie Town is your kids' area. Now, Whistle Stop Park was only refurbished... You know, it, it was only added to, you know, when it got refurbished and rethemed in 2011. So, I've not seen any new attractions at this area since the area opened in 2010. No attractions whatsoever. Not since the refurbishment and retheme in 2011, uh, the year after it opened. Um, so, I think that Whistle Stop Park could potentially be on the way out. Now, Obviously, that may not be the case. However, I want to treat this potential theory, the second theory, like if Whistle Stop Park was on the way out. Like I said, Lunatic Movie Town, the kids' area, Whistle Stop Park could go. If that does go, that opens up a very, very large plot of land, especially if you stretch it over the path, right near to the back of the Penguin Ride, and you stretch it right along, um, you know, off right... To the other side as well which is where opposite the joker's jinx station is and you know it's sort of around where obviously this obviously you can see on the google earth uh, the sky coaster that is where harley quinn spin sanity will be that is the new zampella frisbee ride um so imagine the sky coaster is not there and it's actually harley quinn spin sanity so you've got harley quinn spin sanity you've got the penguin ride you've got joker's jinx right next to it now imagine if you take whistle stop park out of the equation that opens up a lot of space for a station area, a queue line, an exit path, and coaster track itself. Now, whether that be a custom layout, I really don't mind. However, and this is a big one, there's two potential types of coasters that would work at Six Flags America, if this was the case. Obviously, Six Flags St. Louis, we saw the plans for their Raptor. Magic Mountain, we know the plans for their Raptor. Obviously, it's going to be bigger than St. Louis's will probably be, but, you know, still Raptors. I think they could go along the same routes here, and I think one potential coaster option out of the two, in my opinion, is an RMC Raptor coaster. Now, whether that be a clone of Railblazer or Wonder Woman Gold Lasso coaster if we're going down complete Six Flags route, I don't know. I think if they were to add a Raptor, I think it would be a clone of Wonder Woman at Fiesta Texas. However, I would like to see them go down the custom route and do a custom layout. 
But I do personally believe as well, and this is a big one as well, I think another coaster option that could go down is a Max Force. Now, if you don't know what that is, it is a Premier launch coach. It's an SNS, sorry, not Premier. What am I thinking about? It's an SNS air launched coaster. It was the addition for 2019 at Six Flags Great America. They removed their uh, theatre and they added in this brand new coaster in Chicago, Illinois. This new coaster, this new launch coaster, Max Force by SNS. So it opened uh, on the 4th of July 2019 with a 0 to 78 mile per hour in 1.8 seconds compressed air launch with a dog tongue, a heartline roll, and a max dive loop. Uh, now this had a length of 1,800 feet, a height of 175 feet, a speed of 78 miles per hour, and five inversions in a 23 minute ride duration. Now, here's another big question. Could and could only this be a good addition to the area? Now, obviously, like I said, Whistle Stop Park, if you take that out of the equation, you've got a massive amount of space to work with. Obviously, if we, if we get in a coaster, we'd see construction very, very soon, if not by now. So, the coaster theory is slipping away every single day. But, I think it's not too late to start work if you get this ready for a summer opening, or a summer type opening, like a June, July 2021. Uh, now, if you remove Whistle Stop Park, you've got a very nice station area and a launch area over the pathway for a Max Force style air launch coaster. Now, like I said with the layout, the fact that it stretches right from the back of the Penguin Blizzard River, right down opposite Joker's Jinx Station on the other end of the site, and, you know, staring pretty much directly into the face of the Harley Quinn's Insanity site, which is obviously on Google Earth now the Sky Coaster, because that hasn't been updated yet, uh, with the new ride for 2020. Uh, and also, in terms of themes, which I'll go on about that again, I think it would go down the Gotham City route because it would be part, it would be replacing Whistle Stop Park area with a coaster for Gotham City. Now, obviously, you're probably thinking, what, what could be the theme? Now, I want to take you back to the Gotham City area where this will be residing in. So if you take Whistle Stop Park out of the equation for this coaster, then you would get the Gotham City area. Now, currently, in terms of the uh, attractions in the Gotham City section of the park, uh, you have Joker's Jinx, uh, you've also got Superman Ride of Steel, you've got the Penguin Blizzard River. Uh, so I think that you've got a, a unique lineup of attractions. Uh, so you've got Joker's Jinx, which is a premier ride, LIM, Spaghetti Bowl, uh, launch coaster, obviously that makes it less likely to be a, a Max Force type coaster because they've already got a launch. Um, Superman Rider Steel, which is your intimate mega coaster. Uh, you've got Batwing as well, which is your Vacoma Flying Dutchman. Um, in terms of non-coaster additions uh, in this Gotham City section of the park, um, you've got the Riddle Me This, which is of course the uh, Roundup Attraction by Frank Hruberts and Company. You got the Whitewater West Spinning Rapid Ride, Penguins Blizzard River, of course. You got the Starfire, Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth, and you've also got, like I said, Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. So you've got a good array of attractions. Now let's pick up again on the characters that have been used then, and we're going to sort of round them up and sort of decide what characters, main Gotham City characters, they haven't been used. See, so they've used uh, Joker's Jinx, which is Joker. They've got Superman, Batman, uh, they've used um, Wonder Woman, they've used Harley Quinn. Um, if you look at the other rides in there as well, they've used the Riddler and they've used Penguin. Now, if you look at the characters they haven't used, I think they could go with something that, you know, is get starting to get used in the Endeavor flat ride, and that is a Supergirl theme. Now, obviously, Superman Ride of Steel is right near doors. However, what if, depending if it's a Max Force or a uh, RMC Raptor, what if they did a Supergirl Skyflyer coaster? Now, obviously, you know, in Six Flags, they'll probably name it Supergirl Skyflyer and probably use the same logo. However, 
you know, Supergirl is one option. They could go the villain option and go for a Martian Manhunter theme. Obviously, that was the, the theme of the fake leak tilt coaster for Magic Mountain. Before we knew, it was definitely going to be an extended Raptor clone. And, you know, I still believe they'll use, you know, Martian Manhunter theme for that. So, if they do use the Martian Manhunter theme for Magic Mountain's coaster, could they use the Martian Manhunter theme for America's coaster if a Six Flags America does get a coaster? Uh, so there's a lot of stuff to think about with this project and this potential work that's gone on. Like I say, it's just a rumour. It's not confirmed by any sources in any way possible. It's just a rumour. We're just speculating at the minute and discussing my thoughts on this speculation. So to give you guys a roundup then of this whole video, because uh, we've probably been recording for ages now. Um, so to give you guys a roundup then, see the Whistle Stop Park. Apparently there's some electrical work that's been done between Whistle Stop Park and Joker's Jinx. I wanted to discuss Whistle Stop Park, so I think one option they can go down is the kids area route, so they turn it into DC Super Friends, maybe add a new ride in there for the family, just to make it look a fresh new area, uh, and at the same time, or in a different year, further down the line, they could retheme the Looney Tunes movie town into Bugs Bunny Boomtown, uh, and even if they did that, the second route, instead of a DC Super Friends, would be a coaster. Uh, so they could go down the Max Force route, but again, you've got Joker's Jinx. Um, but you could also go down the custom or Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster clone of an RMC Raptor, a single rail coaster, uh, and theme it to the Supergirl or Martian Manhunter. They could go down a different villain. They could go down the Mr. Freeze route, or they could go down the Two-Face route and maybe do like a half black, half white track. That would be a very cool design. Um, so it's a very interesting situation. Obviously, we're going to keep tabs on it for potential more work that's been spotted. Um, and I'd lo I want to, you know, share my thoughts on this. So comment down below your thoughts. Like I say, it's just a rumour, it's just discussion. So comment down below your thoughts. Uh, and if Whistle Stop Park is going and it's not going to get rethemed or upgraded, you know, in a rethink kind of way and not removed, what is your memories of Whistle Stop Park just in case it does get removed? Please, again. Share your memories in the comments down below if you want to. Use the hashtag WhistleStopPark. Uh, share your memories of the area. What do you remember about it? Obviously, the area's been operating now for 10 years. Uh, even though they already have another kid's area, is it is 10 years enough for Whistle Stop Park? Is it time to say goodbye to the area? Uh, obviously, they've got their own railway, but you've got the other railway uh, running past it. So, you know, are they going to take out that area? See, so they've got one railway now uh, in Six Flags America by 2021. We get this new attraction in there. Uh, and is this is 2021 the year for Six Flags America's next coaster? Who knows? Uh, it's been a couple of we a couple of years since the uh, refurbishment work of Apocalypse into Firebird. Uh, making the stand up into flawless, but of course it's not a new coaster. Uh, but the last coaster work was a couple of years ago. Is that still too soon for Six Flags America? Comment down below with your thoughts. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chai YouTube channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. Keep on the coast live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.